Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another weekly episode and as usual, I've got some real cool stuff to show you in this episode. We got a bunch of Auto World, we got some Hot Wheels, we got uh, we got a Maisto, a Maisto, Maisto design. Why did I pick this up? I don't know. I saw it. It's like a G-Body. I'm like, let's, it's a Grand National. Let's, let's check it out. So we're going to go ahead and open up this. It's a little truck with a Grand National on the back of it. I think, I don't know why I decided to grab this, but I did. Uh, so we're going to check that out. Probably because there was nothing and I was sick of seeing nothing on the pegs. And I was like, oh, there's this here. I, I'll, I'll grab that. Um, so starting with some oddball stuff. We got that Maisto. We got some Majorette. We'll take a look at two Majorette vehicles. We got a color changer. Uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS. And then we've got this cool Porsche 917 uh, right there. A couple of Majorette. So that's neat. I think one of these, is it one of these if rubber tires? No, they don't. All right. There's that. We've got just a couple of Hot Wheels, a couple basics that I picked out. Alfa Romeo, 8C Competizione in red. We've got uh, the GMC Hummer EV. We've got a 69 Copo Camaro. Nothing too special there. I just grabbed three main lines randomly from down here to open up. We kind of chip through those. Uh, then we got, well, Hot Wheels wise, we've got the Kawabuga dude. That's going to be cool. I think I did open this up. So hang on. Let me uh, get it out of here. Because if we want this in the thumbnail, it can't be in this box, right? Yeah. No, it can't. All right. <clears throat> This thing is pretty slick. I actually debated on not getting this, but I decided to. And I'm kind of glad I did. So we're going to unscrew that from the base. We're going to take a look at it. It looks pretty. It looks pretty cool. So I'm kind of stoked on that. Like we need another beetle casting, but we got one. Uh, and then speaking of Hot Wheels, we've got the Autostras. Autostras? 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 I don't know. Autostrasi? Autostras? Car culture. Uh, we got the, that there, a BMW, uh, M3, Mercedes, uh, Lamborghini, uh, Alpine, Alpine, Alpina, I don't know, uh, and that Volvo. So, really cool set. It was a very good looking set. I don't think there's too much hype around this uh, car culture set. So I think these have been likely fairly easy to find. I've seen some still hanging at uh, Target. And usually for car culture, that's kind of tough. Uh, I do not have the Chase for that one. And the Chase, I believe, is the Volvo. Is the Chase. So in black, of course, I don't have it. So it would be a cool one to get. It definitely would be. And then we got some Auto World. So speaking of Target, these are now finally showing up in Targets in my area. Uh, the version uh, A of the second release of the two-pack Target exclusives. So I got all three of them here. Now, I've already opened up this one in a previous episode because I got this, and I also have the Ultra Red of this. So we're not going to look at that one. This is just one that's going to get boarded away. Uh, but we will open up these two, okay? So we'll check these two out. We got some Camaras and some Pontiacs. Very cool. And then even cooler than that, I got two Ultra Reds from the same person on Facebook. Really good price on these. One of these has a destroyed card. I think it's the uh, the Jeep. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you can see that, but there's a major crease in that card, and that makes it cheaper, which makes it good for me because you know we're just going to tear the packaging open anyway so it, it does not make a lick of difference so yeah that is going to be it for what i'm going to show you today so we got uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you know eleven twelve fifteen or so items we're going to open up and but this uh yeah these are definitely going to be the highlights for me we got ultra reds we got this sweet kawabuga and that's probably going to be your thumbnail, right? Okay, so, all right. Thank you guys very much. Let's go ahead and flip the uh, camera around. Let's look at this stuff up close. And, yeah, should be a good one. All right, stick around. 
All right, so let's uh, start by taking a peek at this ramp truck with a 1987 Buick Grand National from Maisto Design. I don't know why, but I picked it up. But it's odd because, uh, I don't know, I just I, I look at these every now and then. I don't know why I decided to just snag this one. Probably, well, because of the Grand National, obviously, but... Every once in a while I look at these and they do look pretty cool and they're not expensive like for what you get um, For what you get they're kind of neat now the uh, the castings are very uh, I don't know they have exaggerated features and stuff like that, but so do Hot, Hot Wheels so Not too bad. Let's take a look at this uh, truck first. It does have rubber tires Dooley's in the back. It's plastic base This whole back piece is actually plastic including this is plastic as well uh, the cab of the truck is metal that's a that's about all the metal you're gonna get on this but for the price I don't remember what these cost but they are cheap um, so for the cost I would say this is a fairly good value plus it's got a I don't know it's got a trailer hitch on the back so I guess you could hook up a Maisto trailer to it rolls super nice and it's got a working like ramp feature it's pretty cool. So, the car is really what I got it for, though, was just to get a, uh, another Grand National. And this is in, like, a matte black or satin black, I guess, more, more or less. A little semi-gloss action going on. This has rubber tires, plastic base, metal body. Rolls fantastically well and is fairly well detailed. So, I don't know. Nothing to complain about. I mean, this thing's not like, I don't know, obnoxious, obnoxious looking or anything. It, it looks like a Grand National. I don't think there's any issues with it. Do you guys collect my stuff? I mean, I don't collect my stuff. I just, every once in a while I see one and I do pick it up. So I have some in my collection. And a lot of times they run a lot bigger, I thought, than 164. But this actually looks smaller than 164 scale. An actual 164. Um, it's hard to really say because I think I, you know, one of the best castings I've got that's a Grand National, I think, is like the Racing Champion slash Johnny Lightning casting. And I think that one's larger than 164. And I believe the Hot Wheels one is probably smaller than 164. So I don't know. It's hard to say what the actual scale is without doing some measurements. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bother. It, uh, I think this just looks pretty decent. I mean, the, the detailing's not like extra fantastic or anything, but it does have details. They are there. And for the price, I'm going to say there's no complaints there. So I don't know, whatever. Pretty cool. I don't really, you guys know, I kind of get, you know, I don't like to collect trucks and trailers and stuff like that just because they're too large to, to put anywhere, um, on display and they're harder to store and stuff once they're loose. But, uh, I made an exception just to get, I guess, this car. So pretty neat. Um, probably will get the truck to my kids to play with. So that's how that will go. All right. Next, uh, let's just stick with the weird stuff. We're going to go to this major app. Neat. So if you got it in 10 degrees Celsius, it's going to be this color. If you get it in uh, 22 degrees Celsius, it's going to be reddish. And right now it looks like it's almost somewhere in between. I don't know. Um, we're going to try heat it up with my hand because I don't have water uh, near me to try. It is fairly cold. down. Well, it's not that cold. It's actually 67 down in this room, so it's not bad. Uh, it's very dry, 36% humidity, in case you wanted to know. That's why the packaging just comes right apart when they've been sitting in here for a while. Uh, so this comes with, oops, I got these from, Di this from Dicaster. He sent me some majorette in back, and we've been trickling them into these videos. And it's been kind of fun to look at one or two every episode. I can't get this out. Well, there's a card in here. I wanted to get that out. And I can't, there it goes. All right. So I don't know what 10 degrees Celsius is in Fahrenheit off the top of my head. All I know is that zero degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, that's about it. I suppose you can kind of figure it out, but uh, <clears throat> we're just looking up. All right, so this is a color shifter. So I'm guessing this has a plastic body. 
And maybe, no, is that plant? I cannot tell. I think it's, I think it's actually metal. Yeah, I mean, the doors are metal for sure. Yeah, this is metal. So it's a metal body color shifter. So it feels plasticky, I think, because of the paint. Look at just holding on to it for a while. We are turning it red. And uh, that's what we want to do because I, I think it will look better in red. Look at that. Magical. So whatever they use for their color shifter stuff, it's, it works really good. I will say, and I wonder how long it will hold at this color. So it's like your standard majorette casting. I think I showed this exact same casting in the last episode or one of the ones uh, previous, not too long ago. It's a nice casting in this Porsche and uh, you know, they use the windshield to make headlight bits, which is always awesome on a Porsche. And it just looks pretty good. It's in one to 59 scale, a little bit bigger than 164. And yeah, it does have the suspension. Looks good in red. I like that it's metal. I thought these were gonna be plastic for sure, but it's just the paint that they use that does the color shifting. And the reason why I can tell it's metal, even though the paint feels weird, weird and kind of makes it feel plastic, these because you can see the metal um, inside the door. So yeah, that's metal. Pleasant surprise. Pleasant surprise indeed. All right. Uh, one last majorette. Be this guy right here. Porsche 917. Uh, we got the Porsche licensing right there. So this is kind of a neat casting. I did have, I do have one other example of this. I got like a pink pig version. I think I got that from uh, my buddy, Michael, and Porsche 917. Not my favorite racing livery for this Porsche. The little, the swirly purple, I don't know, almost like Joker looking car. But not bad either. So this one, plastic base, metal body, it is actually in 160th scale. It's got suspension and as an opening feature, not much detail back there, really, you know, it's just a plastic kind of like slab. Almost. It looks like you can kind of make out what would be an engine that, uh, fan intake thing <clears throat> inserted details for headlights. So that's cool. It's negative drink of water. It is dry down here. <clears throat> so I don't know. Overall, pretty neat. I mean, the back that shuts super easy and tight. Uh, so really nice. Majorette does do a good job with their opening features. Not a popular brand to collect. Okay, they're very hit or miss. And I think the reason why people are majorly mostly turned off by by them is the wheels. If they could, they did kind of fix the wheel situation, made them a little bit better, but in reality, I don't know. They're just not up to par with any other brand, really. Besides maybe like my stuff, <laughs> uh, but you know, like Hot Wheels and stuff like that. The basic Hot Wheels wheels, like there's a lot of them that look better than a lot of the major Rat wheels. But I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, let's just open these basic Hot Wheels, for example, really quick. So Majorettes are more expensive, too, than regular Hot Wheels. We got a Camaro, 69 Copa Camaro. This casting's been around for a long time. Not much to look at here. Damn. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Red. I said this casting's been around for a long time, and now it's a copyright date of 2019. What's up with that? This casting's a lot older than that, isn't it? Hmm. It is, right? Maybe not with a plastic base. Maybe it was only in premium. I don't, I don't know. That question will get answered for sure. Derek will answer that in the comments if he's watching this video. Dumas 
help me out on that one. Alpha Romeo 8C Competizioni. I think that's the correct way to pronounce that. I always fail when it comes to Italian names. <clears throat> and I don't really like this casting, to be honest. I don't think they did a great job of it. Almost didn't even pick it up. The car itself <clears throat> is like a bulbous looking car. It's a it's weird, it's oddly shaped. There's some weird shapes going on with it. So I imagine <clears throat> it's kind of difficult to get correct because it's very curvy. But uh I think how it was probably could have done a little bit better than the way that this casting was put together. I don't know. You guys let me know. Copyright date 2013. So it is quite old. The casting's older. It just doesn't really do justice to the shape of this car, in my opinion. So you guys let me know. All right. Hummer EV. The GMC Cybertruck. <clears throat> I don't know. I can't get excited about this. I picked it up, though, because it's a new model. And detail-wise, it looks pretty good. So you got uh, some taillights, some headlights. You got some weird, like, bumpy stuff going on in the back where the paint got a little thick and weird, but that's all right. In front of it there. I, you know, whatever. It looks okay. Am I super into it? I don't know. I'm still not really, I don't hate on EVs. I'm just not really excited about them. There's nothing, I don't know, EV wise, general, whatever, EV vehicles. I'm just, there's not one that I can say, yeah, I'm really excited about that, that car or that truck or that whatever. I'm not anti, I just don't. I, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people that feel the same way. I'm not alone in that one, for sure. All right. Uh, Hot Wheels. Let's continue Hot Wheels. We're going to bust out this car culture set, and then we are going to look at the Redline Club car, and then we're going to finish off with Auto World Ultra Reds, which are the ones I'm most excited about. All right. 72 Mercedes-Benz 280 SEL 4.5 in this beautiful green color. I love it, actually. The card art on this looks really nice. It's a very nice-looking set. I just don't think that there's going to be anything in here um, that scalpers are going to really go after and that's going to draw a lot of cash on the secondary market, which brings down hype of a set quite a bit. I know everybody hates scalpers and stuff like that, or not everybody does. People understand it. I understand it. I, you know, the thing is, is if they weren't there, there wouldn't be as much hype for these cars. It's just, it's a, it's a sad fact. You know, there has to be people going after these and hoarding these. And if they don't do it, the hype is the magic, you know, of the hype and what it creates and the, uh, the sense of urgency to pick up these vehicles will almost go away. And that's, so I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to articulate what I'm trying to say, but it's like they're a necessary component of the hobby for Mattel because it's what helps drive the hype, which helps drive people wanting to purchase these and all of that. So maybe I'll elaborate that on it further in another video, but uh, 2019 copyright date for this one. I think we, well, we've seen it in like a silver in a two pack. Where else did we see this car? I think there's been two other releases besides this one, if I'm remembering correctly, which I very possibly am not. But I like this one in green. This one I really like, actually. I like the wheel choice. Um, I, I mentioned I like the color. It looks really good. Uh, the detail on it looks pretty decent. Uh, and really nothing to complain about with this one. This is a definite like uh, candidate for my favorite in the set. Um, number two is the BMW M3 E46 in red. And this one looks okay. There's nothing really to complain about with this one. 
I'm not a big BMW guy. There's a few that I like, and especially not like modern BMWs. I'm not like a big fan. Um, again, I'm not a hater, okay? I'm not hating on them. Just not really my like thing to get excited about. So it's nice. I mean, it looks nice. It looks okay. We got some details. Of course, it is a car culture, so it is all metal. It's got the rubber tires. It's got a full deco. Uh, the deco on this one looks a bit dot matrixy. A little bit, uh, some pointillism going on here with the uh, graphics, but it is what it is. And I don't know, the overall shape and look of this particular vehicle does not really do anything for me, but some BMW fans are pretty diehards. They're probably into it quite a bit. Just not my cup of tea, okay? All right. <clears throat> the Lamborghini Urus. Yeah, it's okay. Um, not my favorite Lamborghini. <laughs> and like I said, I mean, this set, this set is not super exciting. Okay. It just isn't. The Volvo, actually, I'm thinking is going to be my favorite. But maybe for like European uh, car collectors or people that are really into European vehicles might enjoy this a bit more. But then the Euros. And what casting of the years is this? This is the original one too, isn't it? Like, so they came out with two different castings. This is like the uh, concept of the of the Urus or Urus or whatever it is, isn't it? I think it's actually was the concept of it. It's not what the actual vehicle ended up being. Why did they choose to use this casting instead of the other one? I have no idea. So this one came out in 2014. Well, 2014 is a copyright date, so probably 2015 mainline. Um, it's on slicks too, which is a little bit, whatever. It's a low profile tire for this. I'm going to say it doesn't look bad. They made the best of this casting, but I think the newer casting, there is a newer casting. Am I not? Am I? No. Yeah, there definitely is. They came out about the same time as in, in yellow and it came out about the same time as the mini GT, uh, yellow Urus. And that looks a lot better than this. So why did they choose to use this older casting. Does anybody know why? Why did they do that? And I believe this was just the concept car. I don't think this was, this was, this casting came up before the car did. I'm pretty sure. And while it was still in like its concept phase. So if I'm remembering correctly, if I'm not, you know, you guys will let me know. Someone will let me know. All right. So odd choice, I think. It's an odd choice. I don't even know what out of stress. I don't, what does that even mean? I don't know what it means. Does it tell you? No? Could I have looked it up? Yeah, probably. But that gives you guys something to answer again in the comments. So you guys always help me out with information. I very poorly prepare for these because I don't even know what cars I'm going to show until right before I basically hit record. And that's just the way it is. All right. Auto Stras. I'm not getting good luck ripping the cards on this set of you. So this Volvo... Um, cool looking i like it i love this actually it's 70s volvo and the color is fantastic the choice in wheels and everything in the stance of this car i think is it looks really good okay i like it so it's not quite just a stock version of this car it's a lowered you know I'd drive, the, like, I would own this car if I could. That would be really cool. I'd drive around a, a Volvo like this. Heck yeah. Totally would. Yeah, this thing is really cool. Okay, so this is probably my favorite in the set, actually. And this is a brand new tooling. So that's good. So, and Hot Wheels does, they just get better and better dare I say, like, as the years have gone on. And I know, like, the old timers kind of complain about Hot Wheels, but it's funny because. I get it. Okay, so they're not doing the cars from your childhood anymore, for the most part, right? Or whatever. This is an old Volvo. It's from the 70s, whatever. So, yeah, the old-timer Hot Wheels fans do kind of uh, get upset with Hot Wheels, right, for their casting choices and stuff like that and what they put out. But the casting quality and the more accurate they look and stuff like that has only gotten really I think better over the years. So there's really no 
I don't know how you can really complain. And like, what are they supposed to do? Are you supposed to like release a bunch of 69 Camaro or whatever? What is this? A 69? Yeah. 69 Covo Camaro. What are you going to do? Release a bunch of different variations of that just constantly. And that's what you're going to get is a bunch of retreads of, uh, of Camaro, 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 or whatever else, you know, whatever. All right. Alpina, Alpine. I mean, to me, it says Alpine. So that's what, that's what I'm going to say. Alp Al Alpine. I, it's probably pronounced something weird and different. A110. Cool cast. It's a cool little car. It's a weird one. And let's open that. Oh, jeez. That's the one thing. I got uh, ceramic tile there now. So you got to be a little bit more careful. You drop a car in here. I could actually chip the car. So we got to be a little bit more careful. This one's got more of a full wrap thing going on. And I'm going to say it looks all right. Uh, copyright date in this casting is 2018. I think we've seen it at least one other time in premium. Uh, from what I remember. Don't ask me what it was from because I do not remember that. But it's okay. I've always thought that these cars looked a little bit weird. It's like they kind of look like a Porsche. They kind of don't. It, I, I, there's something going on with the design of these and how they look that I'm just not, it doesn't uh, really speak to me, I guess, but it's okay. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's not like I would mind, you know, having one of these either, but just, uh, if I had to pick out of this set, this one, I'm going to say is hands down my fave. And I would imagine a lot of you would agree with me. And if not, that's Okay. You know, the BMW for the BMW fans, just nothing exciting for me. This is the other one I thought that was really nice. So these two more classic vehicles I thought were really nice. And I just, I still think this is just an odd choice. They, they definitely made the best of it. It does look pretty good. It looks pretty good. But why did they choose this casting over the newer one? Um, I don't know. I don't know why. And I may never know. All right. Unless one of you tell me. Uh, let's see here. Cowabunga, dude. And here we go. I got 22,873 out of 30,000. Dude, I, I am like king of the high number RLC pieces. Not like I really care all that much. It would be fun to pull a low one. But to be honest, if I ever got like a ridiculously low number or something like that, that people would actually care about, I'd sell it. And then I'd buy, I'd replace it with a, a higher number because I'm going to open the thing anyway. So who cares? Um, but it would be kind of exciting, I guess. So I'm, I'm kind of pumped, kind of pumped on this. It's very cool. Very cool. It's got like the flip up, like what they call a safari window or something like that. Let's go ahead and okay. Now I know this packaging is going to fight me. Hang on a second. Come on. That is part of the fun on this channel. Is struggling with packaging. Like, I am reefing on this thing, and it is just not. Jeez Louise. All right. I got it open. I got the top off of it anyway. Still need to unscrew it. All right. On a scale of 1 to 10, man, how torqued are these screws going to be inside of here? Here we go. Uh, again, flathead. Flat, flathead for the win on these. Don't use a Phillips to strip them out sometimes if they're too uh, tight. Get a flathead that just fits in one of the slots. And uh, just trust me, you'll have an easier time. Okay. Phillips, it's way too easy to slip and you will uh, strip it out. Okay. So there we go. I'm just moving the base here, trying not to lose the screws. This will end up being screwed right back onto the base and displayed in its acrylic case. You know, mainly because I don't have a lot of room for more cars to display in these display cases that I've got. So perfectly, perfect solution for that is going to be just to display it in its actual case. Beautiful aqua spectra flame blue, a light blue. It looks really nice. Um, we are going to want to open uh, this back opens, I believe. So we need to get under there. 
and open that up. Very small tolerance between the bumper and the back, but there you go. Look inside there. Nicely done. Nicely detailed. There's really nothing to complain about there. We got a lot of little extra neat things down here in the roof rack. Cool it. Very cool. And then, of course, this goes down. Back down. Snaps into place pretty good. Um, little flaw in the paint right there. You can feel it's kind of textured. That might actually rub off. Not sure what it is. And I think it's actually texture in the casting underneath that's causing that. We got the Safari window. This does not, uh, I think that's what they call these. This does not flip back down, by the way. It is straight up, so do not try to press on this if you have one. And try to get that down, because it's not going to go down. You will just break it, or at least bend it. Uh, metal base, of course. It is an RLC car. And uh, we got real runner tires and all that. This is a pricey little bugger, but it was, it's, it's pretty sweet. As far as RLC releases go that have come out in recent time, I really like this one. I'm a fan of the old school Beetle, though, so I'm a little biased as well. But I think it is really cool, and it's dropped really low. It rolls, of course, very nice, because it is a Hot Wheels, and, you know, they roll. Got the opening feature, and the opening feature doesn't bother me because it does shut tight pretty good. Um, there is a, a bit of a gap right here that is definitely visible. You know, so it's not like perfect opening part piece, but it's still pretty cool. This bumper is not like a separate piece either. It's part of the base, so it is metal. So that will hold up. So at least it's made very durable. Of course, this big top piece right here, this is all plastic. Um, it looks like it's uh, like plastic riveted in or almost glued in to the top. Not really sure how they exactly constructed it, but it looks good. It looks all right. All right, let's move on from it, though. Um, <clears throat> we got Auto World to look at, and then we're going to close this up. We're going to start with the, uh, the deluxe models. I was shocked, actually, to find out that Auto World is releasing new deluxe castings. There's going to be brand new deluxe castings. So they are putting more investment into the lineup. And I'm guessing, though, those castings will be shared between uh, Auto World, Deluxe, and Johnny Lightning. I, I don't know why they wouldn't. They Because they, all these other castings now are basically shared. All these deluxe ones. So you're going to see them with a plastic uh, base, plastic tires, in the auto world line and then you're going to see him with a metal base and rubber tires in the johnny lightning line with a different tool base for the thicker tire and all that stuff so my guess is this new camaro that's going to come out and this does look sick i mean it's going to be pretty awesome i was shocked though to see that they're putting it out in the deluxe line i'm not sure why they chose to do that i don't know what the, the play is there maybe because these have been very successful at target that's probably why um these do not hang out on the pegs very long at least not in the part not in my targets they don't so I really need to get the version B's of these and hopefully those will show up soon. I thought, the, I thought these were a lost cause and then they started to show up. I also need, there's a new four pack that's coming out that I also would love to get a hold of. Uh, but here we go. Two pack deluxe models. We've looked at the deluxe models on this channel several times. I've got a pretty good set of them. I'm obviously not caught up with the ultra reds because of these new target releases, but the old ones I am. But check out this. We got a 1982 Chevy Camaro Z28. Very cool color combo. Blue and silver with a blue interior. Again, these have plastic bases. Plastic tires. Okay? So, some people don't like that. They do roll pretty decent. It's hard. This is a slick surface, so... This tire's actually pretty tight in there, actually, so it doesn't roll. It does it rolls, but not like fantastically well. Um, but looks pretty good. Not too bad. Very nicely detailed. Very good. All right, and then we got the 2012 Chevy Camaro ZL1 in black. Not my favorite Auto World Deluxe casting, but I get why they put it in a two pack. They got a two pack of Camaros, it's kind of themed there. This one's kind of an odd one. I don't think they've ever put this out as a convertible yet, but that is 
coming, I believe. We're going to see a top-down version of this. Thus far, I don't think we've seen one, have we? No. Losing my mind. But uh, <clears throat> we will. I am pretty sure <clears throat> seeing one coming up here. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like in person. So there's a Camaro. And then we got the Pontiac set. You can read that if you want to. We got a Firebird and a GTO. The GTO casting's awesome, so I'm glad that they put that in here. The Firebird casting's not bad either. This one we get in white, blue stripes. See, these almost look like they have opening parts, but they don't. So why that they're just different from the premium in the fact that they have a plastic base, no opening feature. I wonder how hard it would be to convert these to premium. I get Johnny Lightning's easy because they just throw on a metal base that's like tooled with some more space for some wider uh, tire action. But man, I almost wish they would make a premium version of this. I mean, it's a nice looking casting. Pretty sweet. All right. <clears throat> the GTO looks really good too. That's the other thing to note too about this line is they only have two different types of wheels. They got the muscle car style wheel and then they got like the more modern style five spoke wheel or five whatever wheel. And that's all you're going to see in these. So they do have generic wheels. That also brings the cost of these down quite a bit. So perfect for a store exclusive release to sell in a two pack at a cheaper price point. So I get what they're doing. It's pretty awesome. And they are selling. So that is the important thing. These cars have to sell that these manufacturers put out. If these cars do not sell, then we got a problem, right? Um, the companies have to keep making money or they can't obviously invest them in new tools and all that stuff. All right. <clears throat> Next up. We got two Ultra Reds. We're going to end the day with two Ultra Reds, and we're going to start with the Jeep. So, Jeep JK Wrangler Chief Edition. The Just Kidding Wrangler Chief Edition. Uh, version A was this one in yellow. Banana Jeep. Looks okay. Of course, these these are premium auto world. These do have opening features. They have rubber tires. They're all metal and very nicely done. Of course, my favorite pan to collect. So there you go. There's your Jeep in yellow. That was version A. The version B was in this rhino, according to that rhino color. It's like a weird dark char charcoalish with a little hint of blue. I don't know. It's a weird color. So I love the factory colors that they put on these things because they're just, they're odd. To describe them is difficult sometimes and feel like you've done a good job, a good, accurate description. And then we got the Ultra Red. So the Ultra Red uh, traits on this one, again, this is on a trash card, so that's why it was cheap. It was perfect for me. Um, so the, the Ultra Reds in this set, should be fairly obvious by looking at the, the truck itself, the Jeep, rather. Um, we have Ultra Red body, per usual. Ultra Red interior, which is not in every chase, or not a, not a trait in every single series. White rims, which is definitely not a trait in every single series. And then an Ultra Red base, which is also not a trait in every single series. I love listening to people debate on what is an Ultra Red and what is not an Ultra Red when they do not understand that the traits change every single release they do something they try to do something a little bit different and mix it up a bit okay sometimes they've even had white engines that have been part of the chase traits okay sometimes they just had Walter red body and that's it so anywho that's that i just uh and the other thing that's funny too is like most of the time, 99% of the time, the version A and version B, whether you find the Ultra Red in either card is going to be the same car inside the package. It's not going to be different. There are some exceptions to that. Um, <clears throat> so it's not always true, but for the most part, you can count on that. So very cool. Ultra Red. They don't put numbers on these anymore. So I don't know what these are limited to. No idea. 
3% of the production line, though. That's all you can count on. So for Chase standpoints, I mean, 3%, <clears throat> well, it's not high. It's not super high, but it's higher than Giant Lightning, White Lightning, because I believe those are still sitting at 2% uh, to find those. So those are a bit more rare. And I believe the Gold Strikes for the Racing Champion Mint line is also a 2%. Um, so, but they're very cool. My favorite Chase to collect. Pretty much the only Chase I really collect. So, I, I like them, obviously. All right, 2012 Ford Mustang GT slash CS, California Special. This one looks exceptionally good. And I think it's just the, the white rims make this thing look really awesome. So this was also found on a version B card. So the version A is this blue one here. Very nice looking. California Special Edition Mustang. This casting's older. Uh, it's been around for a long time. And then the version B right here looks pretty cool but honestly this ultra red looks better and uh i think it looks better because those white rims without the black center it just looks really good not having a chrome rim on it white rim the stance looks really nice in the package here and yeah the, the color red is great for a mustang you know mustang the modern mustangs have a color an actual factory color that is basically ultra red it's basically the same hue so the stance is low on, low on this one, and I thought the tires might drag, and they do a little bit, but it does roll. Um, and I'm fine with that, because this thing looks this thing looks mean like that. That's a sick-looking Ultra Red. You cannot deny it. I mean, you can, but I think, you, I think you'd be lying. Uh, so the hood opens, of course, on these. Nice and easy on this one, too. There's your uh, detailed motor. And GTCS. Nothing to complain about here. This looks fantastic. I love it. I like this combination too. I like the black tires. Sometimes they do colored tires in the ultra red line. Not, you know, I'm not a major fan of that. I've said that a few times, but uh, I am a major fan when they do the black tires. I don't even care if they do the red rims. The white ones, I think, they'll look really good. And this is no exception to that rule. All right. That's going to be it for this episode. Of course, I'm most excited about the Ultra Reds, but the Cowabunga is really cool as well. I think everything we looked at today was actually pretty cool. So you guys let me know what you think, of course, in the comments below. Again, thank you for checking out the video. I'm always uh, thankful for that. And, you know, you guys have a good week, and we'll see you in the next one.